Hi, this is Brent Schooley. I'm a developer evangelist at Twilio, and this is the first in a series of videos about setting up OBS on the Mac. Now, one of the first things you need to consider when you're doing streaming uh, to Twitch or YouTube or Live Coding TV is the resolution of the output of your video. Sites like Twitch and YouTube are tailored towards a 16 by 9 resolution, so 720p, 1080p, all of the HD resolutions you might be familiar with from TV land also apply on the internet. Now our Mac is not set at a 16 by 9 resolution. It's probably set at a 16 by 10 resolution by default. Now if we take a look at my display settings, I'm currently set at something that looks like 1680 by 1050. Of course, that's doubled on a retina display. Uh, the default that you might see on your machine is 1440 by 900, of course, doubled if you're on a retina display. Uh, these are 16 by 10 resolutions. And what's going to happen is if we stream our 16 by 10 resolution to a 16 by 9 target, like Twitch or YouTube, we're going to end up with black bars on the, the left and right. And if you've tried streaming and you've ended up with black bars on the left and the right side of your video, this is probably what happened to you. So in this video, I'm going to talk about one simple way to fix this, and then in future ways, I'm going to show you some more advanced techniques for using uh, more of the screen real estate that we'll leave behind in this video. All right, let's dive right in. I have OBS version 0.12.4 installed on my Mac, and I just have a blank scene with no sources set up in it to work with. If I go into my settings menu and look at video, the output resolution is set to that 1680 by 1050 that we saw in the display panel. And the base resolution for the canvas is set to double that because I'm on a retina machine. What we want to end up with here is an output resolution of 1280 by 720 and a base canvas resolution somewhere in a 16 by 9 multiple of that 1280 by 720. And the way I'm going to show you in this video how to do that is to change the resolution of your Mac screen to a 16 by 9 resolution using a program called Switch ResX. If you download and install Switch ResX, you'll end up with a menu bar palette that looks like this, that lists all of the display resolutions that you can set your Mac's screen to. In this section, starting here, are the 16 by 9 resolutions. I highly recommend if you are on a Retina machine that you pick one that starts with high DPI as that'll give you the retina sharpness that you've come to know and love on your retina screen. I'm going to pick 1440 by 810 on my MacBook Pro 15 inch screen and then we'll continue setting up our settings inside of OBS with that change. Now that my Mac's screen is set to a 16 by 9 resolution, if I hop back into that settings menu, go to video, and then pull down this option, this 2880 by 1620 maps to that 1440 by 810 that we set the machine to. And now I can set this with confidence to 1280 by 720, as both of these are multiples of that 16 by 9 that we're looking for. And this is the 720p output that we're looking to get for Twitch. With that set, now when I add my display to this scene, this is just going to be my screen off of my MacBook Pro, uh, and I toggle it to fit within the screen, you'll notice it takes up the entire canvas. And when it's output, it's going to output the entire canvas out to Twitch, which means no black bars on the left and right. So problem solved. In future videos, I will show you some more advanced techniques for how to still use your screen at the 16 by 10 resolution, but leave a little bit of screen real estate in the 16 by 9 resolution to add things like a chat overlay and your face cam without blocking the screen and some scrolling text at the bottom and the top. But that's all advanced stuff for a future video. For now, just happy to eliminate those black bars on the left and right. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if nothing else, it's great to get rid of those bars on the left and right hand side of the screen. While I have your attention, I wanted to call your attention to Twilio Signal, developer conference for communications that's going on in San Francisco on May 24th and 25th in 2016. My team has put together a fantastic speaker lineup for you, and we are going to have a blast the last night of the event at a fantastic event that we call Bash. It is going to be through the roof fun fun and games and food and drink like you've never seen at a conference, you're going to want to be there. You do not want to miss out on this. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that you can use the promo code bschooly 20 for 20% off of your tickets at checkout. I really hope to see you there. Until the next video, happy streaming.